How do planes stay in the air? Not even Einstein could figure that one out. After devising his general theory of relativity, he turned to a different problem, how planes fly. He even designed his own wing called the cat's back wing. But when it was tested, the unimpressed pilot reported that it flew like a quote unquote, pregnant duck. Yeah. That seems to have been the last time Einstein grappled with aeronautics. From there, he focused on other things, like finding a unified theory of everything, which apparently was easier than figuring out how planes fly. Now make no mistake, we do actually understand how heavier than air flight works quite well. There are two classical theories. Each is correct in application, but neither fully explains flight without leaving some unsightly loose threads. They are incomplete. The first dates to 1738 via the mathematician Daniel Bernoulli, who modeled air as a fluid. Bernoulli postulated that a fluid's pressure decreases as its velocity increases, and vice versa. So when air flows over a curved wing, it moves faster over the top than the bottom. That generates lift. But Bernoulli's theory did not adequately explain why planes can still fly inverted, or why their wings can work even when they're flat and not curved at all. The second theory of flight traces back to our good friend Isaac Newton and his classical mechanics. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, right? Well, air has mass, and so when air is displaced by a wing cutting through it, other air rises up underneath it, and that is lift. Newton's theory very nicely explains what Bernoulli's couldn't, like why inverted flight works, and why wings of many different shapes can still let you fly. But it doesn't fully explain why there's a region of low pressure atop the wing during flight, regardless of its shape. In many respects, modern approaches to modeling and explaining heavier than air flight trace back to these two competing classic ideas. The problem is that real world systems are messy and complex and defy being squeezed into a short, simple explanation like this video. So where does this leave us? While it may be true that not even aeronautical engineers fully understand how planes fly, rest assured, they understand well enough to make flying in one very safe and very routine.